three people want to talk about. You, you, and you. All right, because you were brilliant when you were on, did everything I've asked of you. When you come on, did everything that was asked of you. The f***ing rest of you, we spoke about half time. The change of shape, change of, change of shape, yeah? What we do, that we just look to run in behind and how do we score our second goal? How do we score it? Ball goes forward quick, one of the forwards wins a f***ing header, the other forwards onto it, gets the shot away. And then every, time and time again, we want to kill it and go in. I don't mind if we're going to go in to go out, but we go in to get it back and kill ourselves stone dead. Stone dead where we can't move the ball. And they score three goals from crosses and three headers. No looking after him whatsoever. Not that he needed it, but any more than he would need it if he was in now. I asked him to go, go on and just run the channels, make early runs and we get the ball forward. He did it and I've watched him run and make run and trust me I'm the first one to come down on him first one but he made runs and, I, and, and people go uh, no I'm going to go inside oh, I'm going to go no I'm going to have a touch but get the ball wide the opportunity to cross the ball because we've got bodies in the box more than we normally have we want five six seven touches turn the easy game difficult some ownership as for you I'll go back to what I said before the game you have Everything you've given for this football club, I'm devastated that we don't finish it on a win. Thank you. You and your debut, I'm devastated we don't come away with a win for you because I thought you were did everything that was asked of you and you were brilliant. And you, I'm devastated your first opportunity at this level to come when you come on and you've done everything that was asked of you and we toss it away. I tell you what, right, and I tell you what, the people that get left out today, they come away with. I tell you what, they come away, they're the ones that walk away and go, we never had a good game today. We had a good game by not playing. And I'm telling you now, in terms of winning that game today, I took two risks, two risks at most in, 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 in the selection, and that's the two youngsters, and they ain't the ones that have let us down. So Archie, obviously not the result we were looking for at all. A uh, very disappointing end to the game, but we do have some things to celebrate. Obviously you made your first team at debut today. How'd you find it? Yeah, to be fair, I've been out on loan, done what I, I've been asked to do. And I feel like, obviously it's a big step compared to where I've been, but I just played my normal game and just treated, treated it how I would any other game, whether it's reserves or my time out on loan. You mentioned about going out on loan and getting that game time. Obviously, I've, I've actually played with you in the reserves and you've gone on out on loan playing in the football pyramid. Um, I also hear as well, you've got a little bit of a past. I'm hearing you played for, is it Blackpool? Yeah. I, well, I grew up in the academy system being at the clubs like Arsenal, Tottenham and Watford. Then I made the decision to, after my year 11 in school, to make the move up to Blackpool and spend my two-year scholarship up there. I was lucky enough to be involved in the first team in the FA Cup. Also being able to train with first team obviously get as much knowledge and both on and off the pitch and see where it takes to play at the highest level and what did you think uh, today playing at step three like what was the main kind of standout points that you thought okay this is a little bit different definitely physic there's a physical side to it but also the technical side and we was two up cruising and it just shows that within five ten minutes a game can change and obviously that's because of the quality playing at a step like this rather than the reserves or the a lower step in the pyramid. And would you say, obviously, playing a kind of academy sides as you were growing up, what's it like compared to non-league? You can see that I still try and play out as much as I can, but also knowing when to go long and whether to play in behind so they can step, so the opposition def defence steps back and then you'll be able to play, but just knowing when and when, to, when and when not to play out from the back and when to play long into the likes of AT and L today. You're quite comfortable on camera. Have you had a bit of media training? Well, yeah, that's one of the compartments of scholarship is yeah, being in front of the camera. So, Wait, How old are you? 19, I'm only 19. Yeah, he's composed, man. Safe. Okay, now this one's a little bit emotional for everyone. Um, me as well. Mate, I started playing for this club the same time this man did. He actually took my spot, to be fair. And I'll shake your hand right now and say thank you because if you didn't, I might not be here in the job I am right now. Exactly. 
Yeah. But um, Faz, obviously we've announced that you are going to be departing at the end of this season. Mm-hmm. Just talk to me about your time at Hashtag, man. Like you've been through every single step with us. It's mental. Yeah, I feel like it's been an amazing journey. I'd say it's changed my life in a sense. Away from football, on the pitch, it's opened so many doors. I've met what, three, four waves of teams, right? <laughs> three, four waves of teams, uh, people that I can really call my, my brothers. Um, there, there's a, Honestly, I could be here all day if you was to ask me that question. But yeah, I'm just forever thankful for the club because yeah, I think without you guys, God knows where I'd be. First of all, I didn't even like football to start with. So yeah, I, I feel like I fell in love with the, with the sport and yeah, I'm forever grateful for everyone here for sure. Um, we won't mention the fact, obviously, that you played against us as well. And um, <laughs> yeah, I won't put the clip in. Don't worry, I'll, I'll leave myself a job. But um, have you got a favourite moment off the top of your head from your, your time at Hashtag? Yeah, my favourite moment was starting against Braintree for the first time uh, away and we won 1-0. And then I think after that we went on like a 10-13 game winning spree. And I feel like I, I really made my statement because I knew I was good enough at the time, but devs didn't know me. Um, I think I left my mark now. <laughs> Braintree, that was Braintree Reserves, wasn't it? I, yeah, Braintree's. Do you know what's mad, yeah? Is I was unavailable that game, and then you, and then you stepped in and we just didn't lose. So yeah. thanks for that, Faz. <laughs> no problem. Um, yeah, man, I think it's tough because you're coming in a, a team that devs knows the players, etc. And I've always been a man that's trying to prove, like, prove people wrong. So I feel like, yeah, I, I can't really say much about that. Do you club. remember when um, you made your debut and we both, both of us played right back? <laughs> yeah. So That was a horror show, by the way. Like, bearing in mind, like me and Faz, just born and bred centre-backs, defenders, right? Yeah. First time we ever jump on the pitch, yeah, right back. I said, huh? Yeah. And Faz said, I said, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I remember just thinking to myself, I've come here. First of all, I'm not even, I don't even like football at the time. <laughs> LP's persuading me to just give it a go. And I'm giving it a go now. Dev doesn't know who I am. I know what I can do on the pitch as a set and a half. And I'm playing right back. And I thought to myself, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do here. But you know I me, mean, man, I think everything happens for a reason. And yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just happy. Even though we lost today, I'm happy. I feel like I gave myself a glimpse of what I can do. And like due to an availability with like work commitments, etc. I just, ha- I feel like I've always been a, a man that trains two, three weeks, I'm available and then I'm off for work. Uh, so it's, it's just one of them ones where I've, I've come to a decision where I'm gonna chase a new chapter in my life, you know? Yeah, and I'm going to take a little bit of time here because I do. I'm, we're going to make this video a little bit longer. I think you deserve your flowers. Um, the work thing, man, the, the modelling and stuff, like, that's been going really... Like He's he's going to downplay it, guys, but he is doing so, so well. I'm seeing him on billboards in different countries. Like, it's crazy. And I've seen him in, in adverts on TV. It's mental. He's probably got more stuff lined up that we don't even know about. Yeah, and do you know what's so crazy? This... <clears throat> like this wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for hashtag though because I remember the first Adidas shoot we did uh, for hashtag. Shout out Adidas. Yeah, I met one of the directors on sh- on, a, on a hashtag shoot, got familiar with me, um, and then he took my number and then he just constantly asked me, "Are you available?" Away from obviously the club, and then in the world that I'm in, it's a very small world and it's just been a spiral effect. So I think, again, like if it wasn't for you guys, I, I don't know, I'd probably be a little head, have a little bit more timber than than what I look now. <laughs> All right, by the way. I have to say, man, it's been an absolute pleasure having you at this club. I mean, I've shared the pitch with you. I've shared content days with you. You've got Will in the background as well, giving Faz his flowers too, ex-hashtag player. You might as well jump in. Come on, then. He's going he's gonna to gloat, isn't he? He's going to gloat. Go on. Oh, yeah. Good little win against hashtag. No, I'm joking. Well done, man. Player. Good absolute there, player, isn't it? And um, how did you find your last few minutes on the pitch for hashtag? I saw you go down, but you're all right, though, yeah? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I, I think... It's just a lack of minutes, obviously, been training here and then going away there. But I feel like I held myself like, like well, to be fair. Bearing in mind I haven't played in a while. I didn't Solid tackles in there, but that's yeah. vintage Faz. Faz, yeah. Faz sees the ball about to be shot on goal five seconds before it happens. So he gets himself into position. And the way he splays his whole body out, like <laughs> this man is a definition of like 
was it? Wear your heart on your sleeve, yeah. play for the badge, all of that. But yeah, man, it's been an absolute pleasure, bro. Honestly, have you got anything else to say to the fans before? I know we're going to see you on Wednesday, probably coming to watch the final, right? Uh, we got LP's dad as well in the background, blowing him a kiss, giving him his flowers. It's what you deserve, bro. But have you got anything to say to the guys at home? I just want to say thank you, man. I feel like on the pitch, off the pitch, I, I read the comments. I see what people say, like West Fires here and there. And yeah, I'm just forever grateful for the club. And I'll be around. He's saying a goodbye. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks again. And he's going to Dubai next week because he's got work going on. He's getting that money. Yeah. Later, bro. Cool. Later. Alright, seriously man, it's been an absolute pleasure. I appreciate honestly. you.